Anyways, of course, we have the present. He's the, uh, he's the Akuma that uh, plays alongside uh, James, I think. James? Yeah, um, I mean, they, they've been playing casuals. Oh, yeah, 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 they were. But he's actually from MXM, if you know um, Ray, um, Turks, of course. Turks, oh, yes, uh, Turks. MXM, Team MXM. Actually, um, interesting thing. Um, actually, RJ is one. He's actually the guy that I've um, grown along with playing Street Fighter 4 because when you most started Street Fighter 4, mm -hmm. we are we are actually on the same skill level, so we like we learn together, and like it's really fun to see him at this level right now. Oh, really? Yeah. Actually, in Street Fighter 4, interesting. He he was actually using Guile, 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 and um, Ken. So it's really. How about you? I'm actually using Zangief. That way. <laughs> Zangief. Yeah. That was the time that he actually he was actually good. <laughs> Street Fighter 4? Wow. Yeah, but you know you know how things turned out for my uh, beloved grappler right now. <laughs> yeah. It's unfortunate, but well I mean the good news is that um there's no there's no other way for Zangi to go but up, I guess. I guess so. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, guess yeah, he's that's, gonna that's receive a, good uh, a little bit of buffs. Let's see, hopefully in the future. Same, uh, same for Falk. I hope uh, she gets some buffs too. Mm -hmm. That's the hope. But you know, if uh, Rose gets selected, I mean if Rose is going to be uh, available in season four, then I guess I'm let's going see, to take it by default. <laughs> I mean, of course, a lot of a lot of us have um, a lot of our own characters in their wish list. Like for me, I really wish Elena would come back. Oh, Elena! Really? Yeah, yeah. Elena. Why did you play Elena in four? Though? No, no. I actually, when four was dead, mm -hmm. I was playing Elena. Oh, really? Yeah. So, How was she? Um, broken, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> broken. <laughs> really strong character. But back to the match, of course, we have. RJ mounting a comeback. Let's see if he can go, go for it. This actually, when when I saw uh, Champ uh, play Sagat earlier in casuals, I was just surprised because um, I know he plays uh, uh, Dalsim, but mm. I didn't know he actually like practices uh, Sagat too. But uh, the thing with um, these kind of top players is they can play any character, yeah, because they have the the fundamentals. So oh yeah, definitely. it is okay. Oh, oh, oh. Can you? Oh, th doesn't. Great backdash oh, back dashes the throw. Really smart stuff there, really smart stuff. Oh, but yeah. back, from back, back, back to what I was Sagan saying. The, these guys at the top level, of course, yeah. multiple top, eight, top eights, they, they have the, the fundamentals, they have the basics for them. They know how the neutral works. So it's very easy for them to pick up a new character and just learn their basics and make do with it. Yeah, because the fundamentals are already there, right? Yes, that's true. Yeah. You know what amazes me is that um, uh, their decision making is uh, that's actually what separates them from from the OK players to the elite that's players. That's true. Right? That's true. Uh, it's like they they have they process like a million like scenarios uh, uh, like at once and then. Yes, I mean they 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 think like five steps ahead. Yeah, that's, that's true. And uh, yeah, like that. I mean. Uh, if that was me, I would have been thrown already, and uh, <laughs> I was like, I w I'll probably be dizzy in like 15 seconds or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I get easily rattled, so... <laughs> anyway, Aku, uh, we, we're, st we're still kind of like, um, still in a stalemate though. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, as usual, Akuma is pressuring uh, his opponents, but... But of course, w the thing with Akuma is, he has to take risks, but he does not have he the health. Yeah. To gamble with those. But RJ taking the round right there. Well, I mean, he he, he does need to, to, to take some risks. But unlike other uh, characters, his risks are a little bit less. And uh, of the rewards are a lot more. Yes, because um, of his great offense, he has really great mix-ups. Yeah. Of course, his normals are really, really, really good. I mean, has Akuma ever been like loaded in any Street Fighter game? Um, as far as I know, he hasn't been. But I think the lowest he's ever been was A minus. Really? Was, this was in um, Ultra Street Fighter 4 because back then in AD, his uh -huh. um, Vortex game was really crazy. Yeah. All you need to get is just one knockdown and you're basically finished. Wait, but Ak Akuma is a very good Vortex character though. How, how was he. How no, was I mean in, in Ultra Street Fighter 4 because. Yeah. There was the addition of the delayed getup, right? Oh, so right. That, uh, that actually killed his. Oh, right. That right, killed right, right. his his vortex game. Vortex, yes. So in Ultra Street Fighter 4, a lot of the players had to rely on their neutral. Oh, right, and uh, that's actually pretty good. 
progress. And the thing with Akuma right now in this patch is, okay, RJ takes it 1-1, now they're all tied up. Okay, the thing with Akuma in this um, game right now is he has that... He doesn't have a Vortex still, but his 50-50s are really, really, really good. And yeah. the, the situations he puts you in is really, really crazy. So. And it uh, looks like we're, we are tied with f -Jep and RJ 1-1. One, one one. And... Uh, uh, RJ is really holding his own against uh, f Champ Sagap. That's true. I mean, it's really amazing to see how he has grown as a player. I think we both started playing Street Fighter around two years ago. Oh, really? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you started around two years ago? Two, three years ago. Ah. Yeah. We started during the dying days of Street Fighter 4. Oh. That's actually pretty cool. I was like, I probably like started around uh, the time that Street Fighter 4 was uh, starting. Oh, yeah, 2009. Yeah, 2009. Oh, okay, okay. And uh, I was, I was, I'm still pretty scrubby back then, <laughs> but uh, now I'm still scrubby. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, doesn't get the juggle though. Could have gotten something there. Yeah, this like, like from around uh, the 88 second mark, Sagat was already there in the corner, and uh, he wasn't able to escape at all. Well, that's the that, thing with Akuma. Yeah, his really pressure excels. game is really good. That's basically a Kuma for you. And of course, Sagat is not really an offensive character, so... Because he's the type of character that likes to hang back. Yeah. But he can... Never he mind! Can, he can have <laughs> the offense if he wants to. Okay! Chan proving us wrong. <laughs> but of course, we've seen the potential of this character because we've seen, of course, Bone Chan. Yeah. He's been really putting the work of this character into this character because, you know, when you think of Street Fighter who are back then, when you think of Bone Chan, who do you think of? Of course. Yeah, Bone Chan Sagat. Sagat, yeah. But uh, lately, he's also being known as like the the last Nash. Yeah, the last Nash ever since the the huge nerfs. Yeah. Shouts to infiltration. <laughs> you know, you know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> we we don't talk about that, right? Yeah. No, 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 no. I'm going to. Be sad. No, 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 no. Well, let's keep it family friendly. We're in a family friendly. <laughs> family <story>. friendly. <laughs> we're, we're I I I love I like your wordplay, man. <laughs> we'll keep it clean here, man. That's that's a topic for another day. Yes. Anyway, uh, what I was going to say is that um, that's a huge testament as to how good of a player Bonchan is. Yes, because I mean, he has uh, a lot of uh, low tier characters now. He's using a lot of low tier characters now, but he still is uh, competitive. Yes, getting um, multiple top 8s, top 16s, and mm -hmm. all that. But I think when the going gets tough, he. Oh! That's a great nice. Thing. Like you said, million steps ahead. Whoa, the, that, was, that was a reaction. But yeah. Oh, oh, whoa! What happened? Oh, rage quit! Whoa! No, 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 that's not a rage quit. <laughs> I think he's. Oh yeah, he's checking the version. I think he's checking the version. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Anyway. He, he's probably checking if it's season four already. <laughs> <laughs> in any, in any case. Like, as, um, like we said earlier, of course, when the going gets get stuff, we have um, Bon Chan using na um, Korean. I guess. Yeah. Korean, but let's see. Okay, oh, he's going to the grid. I think he just wants to reduce all the lag. <laughs> because, I mean, of course, when, when you use other stages, there's still some lag present. So, going to training stage without all the extra stuff on the stage mm -hmm. will lessen the processing for the game. So, maybe there was like a little bit of, maybe a little bit of frame drop, maybe? Yes, 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 pre precisely. Especially in stages like the Kanzuki Beach, the, <laughs> yeah. the airplane stage, yeah. the Skies of Honor. The amount of lag is just insane. Yeah, it should be okay now, though. And uh, I mean, you know how people online use like stages to their advantages. Yeah. Like as a birdie player, I'd use the Kanzuki Beach just to sold my Kanzuki. <laughs> wow, that <laughs> is so cheap. Man. <laughs> as for me, I don't want any lag and any excuses, so I'll just use the Tra training stage. The training stage. No, actually, um, just recently the dojos are out. Oh yeah, I mean, and uh, we are. I'm now. Uh, Setting the dojo as default. And shout out to my group, by the way, Falk University. <laughs> Bad time, buddy. Thank you for helping me out with uh, practice. Of course, shout out to Team T Bat as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, TTV. They have their own dojo as well, right? Now, oh, really? Good stuff. Yes, they, they do have. They do have. You know, with the classic crew, you know, we have Julio. Oh, yeah, Gerald, Julio, of course. Yeah. Man, I miss their, uh, their, I miss their, uh... Yeah, I, I miss Jimmy, uh, Jim, yeah, helping Julio, I miss their stream. Every Thursday, 
Yeah. It's like something I look forward to every every Thursday <laughs> night. I was actually a guest. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we were both guests. Oh actually. yeah, yeah. And uh, I, I forgot what my uh, nickname was there. Oh, I don't know. I, I forgot. I forgot. There were, there were so many of us. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to keep track, of course. It was so fun, and that was like back then when I was still uh, meaning uh, Ed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, shoutouts to uh, shoutouts to Hulu and shoutouts to uh, to Doctor Jimmy for uh, the awesome entertainment that uh, his they've given us with those uh, helping Hulu episodes. Anyway, back to the match though. <laughs> we. We forget that there's actually a match going on, and uh, Sagat is uh, doing just really good in the news. Just smothering him right now. Here we go, activating the. Actually, want to go next? All right, very right back. Oh, you're going next. Okay. And uh, that is uh, three one. 